What if you have your own designer and developer, one who never sleeps, never complains and build exactly what you imagine, just from a sentence, no interface to click through, no code to write, just describe your idea and it starts creating. It sounds futuristic, but this isn't a dream. This is what Hostinger Horizon is promising, an AI that transforms your plain words into a fully functional hosted web experience, designed, deployed and ready to use. In this video, I'm going to test Wait Promise by building two real things from scratch, a portfolio website and a to-do list productivity web app. We'll start with a prompt, watch how Horizon responds and then refine every section to see how powerful and practical it really is. Let's dive in. Once you log into Hostinger Horizon, you will find a clean and simple interface. All you need to do is to describe your idea in plain words and Horizon begins generating your website or web app instantly. I will also leave a link in the description. You can sign up through it and get 10% your first month. But before I write the first prompt, let me quickly highlight why Hostinger Horizon is more than just another AI tool. It's an all-in-one AI tool that handles design, development, and content. No code required, just describe your idea in 80 plus supported languages and it builds it for you. Projects are SEO optimized and ready to grow with hosting, domain and email just a few clicks away. And it's backed by Hostinger, a trusted platform with over 20 years of experience and millions of users worldwide. Now we are going to write our first prompt, but remember your prompt should be clear and detailed. If you are not confident in writing one, you can use ChatGPT or any AI assistant to help you create it. And that's exactly what I did. I have already written a detailed prompt with the help of ChatGPT and copied it to the clipboard. Now I want to design and build a portfolio website. So let me paste the prompt here. And first I will read it out to explain what I'm asking for. Create a modern and responsive portfolio website for a UI UX designer. Use a clean, minimal layout with a professional and creative look. Apply modern clean typography and spacious visual design throughout the design. Use the attached image as visual inspiration for the layout and styling. This is important because we will attach the design style for the reference. Then we have this section in which we explain what we want in each section like hero section, project section, services, about, etc. So from here we will attach the reference image which is this one and actually I have taken it from the dribble. I like the layout and style and the credit goes to this designer Musad Rana. Obviously I will add the link in the description to this design. So the prompt is ready. Now just click this arrow button. It will start designing and developing your site. It may take a minute and you don't need to do anything. Just sit back and relax. On the right you will see the development process happening in real time and the left chat box showing you exactly Exactly what the AI is doing step by step. Alright, here is the first look of our site and I think it is pretty impressive as an initial look. We have a nice side navigation bar, a good hero text and on the right we have a designer image and some floating elements. Then we have a service section, a great hover effects on the cards and then some text on the right. Then we have a about section which is fine for now. Next we have a project feature section where we will display some of our great design projects very soon. Then there is a CTA section, some nice text. CTA and we can see some floating bubbles in the background, then a simple footer section. Now if we go to the top, we can also see it in the full preview. So the next step is to figure out the changes you want, the errors, the layout, the style, text, icons, images by just mentioning them to your assistant in one prompt. It's actually a good practice to include everything in one go. It saves both your time and your messages. So you have to go through the entire page and find out things that you want to fix. And here is another option. If we turn on editing text mode, we can quickly change the text, but those who are selected, others can be edited by giving a prompt. So for example, I want to edit this. I will change 5 to 8 years, hit save and it is changed. Similarly, if I want some changes here, for example this one, will change it to design scenes and it is changes, also responsive to the text. 
Here I'm going to change this text to Honor to collaborate with Honor to collaborate with Save and turn it off for now. Okay, now we will change this name Alex Morgan and also I want some changes in the sidebar menu because it is working and takes us to each section but these are only the dots and we don't know which dot is for which section. So we will use icons and names. So for now I'm going to make changes only in the hero section so that we have focus on things. So I'm going to write a clear prompt like keep the current design as it is, replace the name Alex Morgan with Raiz Eke. In the left sidebar, replace the dots with actual icons and corresponding names for each menu item. That's the result and it's exactly what I wanted. We have icons and names for each menu link and there is a new logo with my name which I can also change manually by uploading an image plus Alex Morgan is now replaced with Ray's AK. Overall the result is pretty impressive. If we go down these two sections are just fine for now but here in the project section I want some special changes. If we click on the view project, it says this feature isn't implemented yet, but don't worry, you can request in your next prompt. So I will ask for a new page for each project in the next prompt. Plus, as you know, these projects are the dummy. Definitely, I want to add my recent project images here. So that is so simple. First, I will ask for assigning pages to each project, like for each featured project card, create a separate page that opens when the user clicks on the card. On that page, display a detailed case study of the project, including a large project image, project title, a description, the tools used, and key highlights of the design process. Plus, use the attached thumbnails for the future projects. Now I'm simply uploading images of my recent YouTube content projects. Click on open and we are ready to go. Okay, let me go down and check. Yes, these images are changed according to our instructions. Yes, definitely the text and data is still dummy because we didn't add data for each project. No, I'm going to check and view the project. Yes, they have created another page for the project and we can see a dummy case study added in a very organized way. By the way, we can change it still as we want in the next prompt. But here, I'm just showing you how it works. Go back to home page. If we go down here in the CDS section, when a user clicks on this Start Your Project Today button, it will take the user to the form where he can fill his details or project details and submit. So for that we will write a prompt. Like in the contact section, when a user clicks Start Your Project Today button, Take them to a new page with a contact form. The form should include these fields. Name, organization name, services drop down in the field, project timeline, budget and a brief message. Add a submit button at the end. That's it. Go for it. Create it. Let's go down and click the button. It takes us to a new page where we can see the contact form that we ask for. We have a name field, email, organization name, a drop down for the services, project timeline, estimated budget, and a brief message field box. 
then a submit button now you can give it instruction like where you want to receive the user email you can assign your source email so in this way whatever you want in your project or app just provide your instructions to your assistant it will do that now if we check the mobile view and scroll the side menu bar has taken 70 percent of the space on the screen but in mobile view we only want a hamburger menu so that is very simple we will provide the instructions accordingly like on mobile view hide the left sidebar instead use a hamburger menu at the top left to show the menu items so go for it now if we check the mobile view yes we got a hamburger menu when we click we have exactly those links inside obviously we need some other adjustment needed on mobile view but i'm just showing you different things not creating the actual site for now you will do it itself so once your site is ready from here you can preview your site on the web but it's time to publish it on the internet just hit that publish button and it will give you a published preview link from where you can visit your site plus you can connect your hostinger domain easily from here by a few clicks for now we are not going to do that so we are now checking our site our site is successfully loaded on the browser let me check things quickly everything seems exactly like what we did and it was a very impressive result but the story doesn't end here i'm going to build another app to test horizon even further so i have already written a detailed prompt and copied it to my clipboard this one describe a productivity app kind of like a to-do list with features like quick task input priority levels drag and drop different views like calendar and board and even some basic collaboration i also include layout instructions ui structure and backend task that horizon will handle automatically so now let's hit enter and see what it creates all right this is the initial layout and on the first look i don't like the overall ui and if you see we have a missing left sidebar with options but the arrangement of different things is almost fine but that's not a big problem horizon will definitely fix these things in the next prompt so i'm writing improve the ui with a clean and modern design add a left sidebar with tabs for today tasks projects calendar categories like personal work team and settings also add a toggle button at the top right to switch between light and dark mode so it is fine and go okay sometime it will give you this error don't worry just hit that ask to fix it will automatically look for the error and will solve it you don't need to do anything further okay so here is the improved version now the ui is looking great we also got some great arrangement of the cars and other elements it added a sidebar where we have the options and tabs as we requested for some great hover effects plus we have multiple pages when we click on any option we can switch through multiple tabs you can see this calendar is fully responsive and we can also switch between dark and light modes exactly as we requested in the setting tab we can change multiple settings now we are going to check and try to add a task if it's working or not press state plus yes we get some field to fill let's name it as project i will add a random date and need to add time i will set the priority to urgent and the project should be personal add a task and here it is added similarly i will quickly add a task here you can see we added another one in this way we can add any functionality can change everything by just chatting with ai it may require more things to adjust but for now it is fine and let's publish it 
All right, so we published our productivity app, which is fully functional and ready to use. So that wraps up today's video. And honestly, I am impressed. The way it turns simple prompts into real working website and web apps is powerful, especially for non-coders and solo creators. Of course, it's not perfect. Sometimes you need to tweak your prompts or adjust layout, but that's part of the fun. Now it's your turn. Try it yourself and share your creation on our Facebook page. Also, let me know in the comments what you built and how your experience was. And if you want to try Horizon, use the link in the description to get 10% off first month. Thanks for watching. Stick around.